Hello friends, welcome back to ProHot IT Services. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn the steps to use the editor for app services. Before we start using the app service editor, let's check the default page of web app. So this is the web app that we have created. Now let's copy the URL, go to the next tab, paste it, hit enter. So this is the default web page that we have. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the default page or create a new index.html file for the web app. For that, we'll go back to our portal, scroll down and we'll select the option of app service editor under the development tools, click on that, click on go, it will open the link in the new portal. Once done, out on the left-hand side, we can see www root. So this is same like the www root and inet pub that we have in Windows web servers. To create a new file, we'll right click on the blank space and click on new file. We'll name it index.html. We'll copy some small code. So this is the code that I have, which I have pasted. So now if you see the, once you type in the code, it gets saved automatically. So that's something we can see that it is saved. So now, as it is saved, so we'll go back to our web page, the default web page that we have. Refresh the page and see if it changes or not. So here we can see that our default web page is changed now. And we can see the content that we have uploaded to index.html file out here. Even when you go to the overview, you can see all the requests that your web server is receiving, how many requests it has received, what is the data in, data out. You'll get all that information besides the response time also. So hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye friends, have fun, keep smiling.